Also, Blable just confirmed something really interesting that might change Blable on how we get exclusive items inside of Blable. But in today's video, I'll be showcasing to you guys what they're actually doing in the near future. Now, if you guys do want to go ahead and win one of the brand new Dual Eclipse Gleam or one of these bundles, I suggest you guys get this video to 300 likes and we'll go ahead and give it away to one lucky winner. When you guys are using a supporter creator code, make sure to use the code unpredictable. Repeat that every seven days. The more you guys help me out, the more giveaways I could give out to you guys. But yeah guys, let's get on with the video. So like I was saying, there was something really interesting that Blable just announced to their public and they wanted your opinion on this. And also it's something like PetSim. Well on screen right now, I'll tell you guys what they are currently doing. So as you guys can see on these screenshots or one of the screenshots, a developer asked the community, dragon pet sword that floats over player's shoulder and breathes fire when you parry the ball. I'm not gonna lie, that is actually a really, really cool idea. I like that one more than I'm gonna show you guys next. And Sammy did also say, would you guys be interested in physical blade ball plushies that come with in-game codes to redeem for pet swords? Similar to the rabbit and the frog skin. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda really, really like this idea where they're going to implement pet swords inside a blade ball. As you guys are aware, pet swords inside a blade ball is probably one of those type of things that a lot of people actually want and a lot of people really do like pets. That's why I was suggesting that dragon pet sounds like a very, very good idea. But also there is another screenshot that Sammy actually posted out to the community which I'll be showing you guys in a moment. So Sammy did also said on this announcement, what shoulder pet plushie would you guys want? Redeemable for in-game pet swords. Now he offered a few pets inside a blade ball. One of them being dog, cat, turtle, parrot and hamster. And obviously the most pick one is currently cat because um, I don't know, I guess we have a lot of cat lovers inside of the community right now. Currently, I do think uh, Cat is going to win. If we actually compare it with all the rest, like there's Cat that is sitting in 2000 and all the rest is just sitting on 400s, not even above 500 on one of them, which is crazy. But I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like the other one, the other concept even more, the dragon one. Yes, the Cat one is going to be sick as well. It's probably going to go ahead and meow when you guys hit. I'm not gonna lie, I, I probably already have have a slight idea of what they're going to do they're gonna have a cat either laying down one of those one of those UGC that literally makes you headless laying down on the side of your shoulders and every time it attacks it does its claw attack which has like these claw marks and obviously it does like a meow sound that's what I think that they are planning to do i'm not gonna lie there's loads of animals inside like in real life so but yeah like i said i really like the dragon concept even more than the um the cat one but that's just me that's just my opinion i like it and it's up to the developers to be honest what one they want to push out just to me i feel like the cat one is it's okay the dragon one is just you know it, it seems so much more better but yeah, I can't believe Blable's actually doing this. So to get these items, I guess you guys will have to buy an in real life plushie. Because yeah, an in real life plushie is the only way you guys will be able to obtain these. Which is going to be very, very difficult just because of the sole purpose that a lot of people are probably going to hoard the hell out of these items which i am not looking forward to actually having to go ahead and fight with other players to actually obtain these now keep in mind it isn't really too confirmed yet but it is a concept that they want to do which i i think is a good concept because obviously with a lot of these stuff happening inside a blade ball this is something different and it'll help them and help the community to get something actually in real life as you guys are aware another game already actually did this which is a game called pet sim 99 so that is another game that's already implemented these type of stuff inside of roblox they are very very known for doing these type of stuff like titanics and huge pets for you guys to buy in real life to gain something inside of roblox but yeah, I really want to see how Blable executes this and see how they pull it off. I thought it was against um, Roblox TOS to sell stuff, but since 
Petsim99 is doing it and a lot of other games is doing it. I guess Playball is okay to do it. But yeah, this is a very, very, very cool concept that they are planning to do. Imagine if you guys could have dual wheeled pets. That's what I really want them to do is have like some dual wheeled pets on the both of your shoulders. Uh, they'll have like a bundle where you guys have like multiple bundles. You guys got the single one and then you've also got the dual bundle, which is going to be really, really sick. Imagine that. But yeah, I doubt they're going to do like a dual world version of that, to be honest. But I want to know from you guys, the community, which one are you guys mostly excited of? Which pet do you guys want added inside of label? Do you wish it was not the cat one? To me, like I said at the start of the video, to me, I prefer the dragon concept where it breathes out dragon where it breathes out the fire and whatnot inside a play ball that's just me i just feel like that was a really better concept than the cat one but i guess we'll just have to wait and see how play ball pulls this off but yeah i want to know from you guys which one is going to be your favorite one out of all of them let me know down in the comment section which one would you guys prefer or would you guys have any other animal that you guys want to actually see inside blade ball when they release out all of these plushy stuff now you guys are probably asking me yo fps do you think you guys should go ahead and get these bundles these like plushy stuff keep in mind guys anything really including blade ball right now is worth getting just because of point that blade ball is slowly trying to add trading inside of blade ball so anything that might increase your value or increase your value inventory i suggest you guys do it but if you guys don't have the money, then don't do it. But if you guys have the money and you guys are willing to spend money inside a play ball and get something in return in real life, then yeah, do it. I'll try my best to try to get these, but I doubt that I'll be able to go ahead and obtain these as of right now. But yeah, I will try my best to go ahead and obtain these cool stuff once they actually release out inside of play ball. Yeah, the concept of this that they're trying to add is a very cool idea. Like I said, it is the first time they're going to do it and it's worth you guys actually doing so. Because like I said, Blable is slowly adding trading. So anything really that will help you guys trading will be very beneficial once trading comes out to you guys. But that's just me, that's just my opinion. I think you guys should go ahead and get it. But if you guys don't want to, then please make sure don't be forced to go ahead and buy the stuff if you guys don't want to. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I do appreciate every single one of you, so if you guys could do that, it would mean the world to me. But yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.